another video so today i decided i was going to do a start to finish install with you guys um i will be putting on a 13 by 4 frontal wig so of course i started out with freshly washed um blow dried and i also silk press it just to do a little length check and then of course i braided my hair going straight back and connected the ends of the braids into the next braid and now i'm just pinning that um last braid down i do not sew my braids down when i'm putting on a wig so now I'm just stretching out my knee highs just so that um, I won't have such a hard time putting it on. Um, they do, you do have to pre-stretch them because if you don't, you're gonna have a hard time putting it on your client's head. You're gonna be jerking the head and yeah. Well, I want them to have whiplash. <laughs> so now I'm going in with Boho Liquid Gold, of course. And I'm just gonna use that to uh, smooth back any loose hairs um, that may be there along my edges. And then I'm also going to go in with another layer and um, I'm just going to use that to mold down my ball cap. And then anywhere that I need any extra liquid gold, I'm going back and putting that on there. And of course, I'm going to go in with my got to be glued spray and just, you know, spread it on top of that bowl hole liquid gold just so we can get a great foundation. So y'all, another thing I wanted to point out in this video is how I strictly followed um, my hairline. I know that some stylists, like, they just go straight from ear to ear, just straight line across. But I honestly like to follow my hairline just because, you know, that lets me know where I need to place my frontal um, as well. And then um, after I blow dry that a little bit, I am going in with needle and thread and I'm just going to secure the back of that wig cap down. And excuse the lighting in this video, um, the sun was going down and I was in front of our patio window and it was just throwing everything off. So y'all probably see me adjust that lighting like a good five, six times in this video. So this is the wig that I will be putting on and it's a 13 by 4 frontal wig and I believe this is from Beauty Forever Hair. Um, yeah, I forgot to get that, you know, the video of me unboxing it and, the you know, initial, re initial review or whatever, but hey, it'll be all right. I will, um, tag the link, um, where I got this hair from. So, of course, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses in the shade, I think this is shade, uh, 15. Yeah, 15 because 16 is the darkest. And I did use the darkest shade in that 15 and um, I put it all across my ball cap, you know, so we can get that skin like look. And then of course I cut off that excess cap. And now of course I'm going in and cleaning up around the perimeter of that ball cap with some 91% alcohol. And then I'm also going to go behind that with my um, skin protectant, you know, just to get that uh, primer layer on before you put that glue on. And y'all can see how good that come on. You can see like literally where I'm putting that primer. And of course I will be using Erica J's Hold Me Down Glue in the watermelon scent. It smells so good. I will never stop saying that. It smells so good. But, um, of course, I'm focusing that first layer on the perimeter of my ball cap just to, you know, make sure that it's secure and it's not going to go anywhere. And also make sure that you are putting it um, by your ear tabs really, really well because that's an area that begins to lift first with wigs and frontals. And then, of course, I'm going to with my popsicle stick and I'm smoothing that down. And I am going to do five layers of this glue. So this is the last layer that I will be applying and you can see I kind of went behind that wig cap a little bit um, about an inch to an inch and a half space and that's just going to help your wig like stay. Um, if you just go in and you just put that glue on the front of that ball cap and also on, the, on your skin in front of that ball cap, your wig will not last long. So just make sure you put in at least an inch to an inch and a half um, glue foundation there.
So I did see where I needed a little bit more of that cream foundation at. So I went ahead and put it further back on my bald cap just so that that white cap won't be showing up under the lace if I decide to part um, differently. So I went ahead and I did sew an elastic band um, on this wig just in case I wanted to wear it glueless. Um, but yeah, I had already pre-customized it, you know, bleached the knots, plucked it, whatever. But you are going to see me pluck a little bit more to my liking in this video as well. If y'all would like to see how I customize my units for my low hairline, just let me know. I will drop that video for y'all. It's really not that hard. It's easy. But yeah, you can see this wig is like fitting my hairline to the T. And it took some practice for me to learn how to do this because at first I went leaving no forehead space when I was applying my um, lace fronts and I was looking crazy and ain't nobody tell me either. So now I'm just touching up those spots that didn't um, get any glue and I'm just laying that lace into that glue. And I do go in with about two or three layers of this as well, because you know, we want those little pieces to be stuck to, not lifting. So yeah, I'm just touching those up and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my elastic band and blow dry it. So of course, after I finished blow drying it, I did let that lace sit for about 15 minutes and I'm just going to take it off and it looks really, really good. It's nice and melted. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and part out the hairs that I'm going to be using for my baby hairs. And yeah, this is the part where I'm going to pluck some more and just get that looking more like a hairline and not so thick because it was still a little bit too thick for me. So just keep in mind, whenever you have clients with lower hairlines, you don't want to do a whole lot of plucking. Um, you want to more so do the plucking while the wig is on the client's head and it doesn't take long at all. So I'm just going in with my Shea's Bum Wax Stick and I'm just going to use that in a hot comb to um, push back any flyaways that may be in the way when I get ready to lay that elastic band again. So I'm taking that same cream foundation that I used for my bald cap and the lace on my wig and I'm just putting that all in this area right here and um, that's just going to help you get the best melt and then of course go behind that after you apply it with some um, with some kind of a hairspray. It doesn't have to be got to be a glute spray. That's what I use. Um, 
but just any type of hairspray, it doesn't matter what kind. And then you just wanna tie that down so that it can melt. And this step also gets rid of any ashiness that you may um, see with transparent lace, especially the really thick transparent lace. And you just wanna tie that down for about 15 to 20 minutes. So a lot of times with my curly waves, I like to wear them up in buns because it's just super cute. So in order to get that really nice flawless look, I do sew down the back of my wig, just you know, so that it's nice and seamless when I pull it up and you can't see like the back part of that wig, any of the tracks, none of that. So now that that has set for about 15 to 20 minutes, I am taking that elastic band off. And as you can see, we have a melt. And I did forget to mention when I was putting that cream foundation on this area here, I did get a little bit of that cream foundation on the hair. So that's kind of making it look like I over plucked it, but I really didn't. Um, I did go in with some alcohol and a cotton pad and I just cleaned that excess cream foundation off of that hair. So now I'm just brushing or combing out my hair um, that got that got to be spray on there, just combing it out so it's not crunchy. And I'm just taking an eyebrow razor and cutting that excess hair off. And I'm gonna cut it down to about one inch. And then for my little sideburn pieces that I like to do, I leave, you know, maybe about two or three inches. y'all already know I go in with my 3 4 inch flat iron just to curl up those hairs that I'm going to be using for baby hair. Um, this is very beginner friendly. If you don't know how to swoop baby hairs or you have a hard time with baby hair, definitely use this little trick here. So I am going to be using another method for my baby hair today to get them to lay down. I'm going to be going in with the She Is Bomb collection. Um, I think this is the Fuse Foam. And I'm just going to use that to set my baby hairs. Um, it's really beginner friendly. It's a beginner friendly um, foam. Like, it dries so quick. Like, really quick. And it doesn't get, it gets hard, but not, you know, so hard where you can't comb it out. Um, but yeah, it's definitely beginning. Y'all can see them hairs ain't moving nowhere once I put that foam on there and I swoop it how I want to. Those hairs are not moving. Like, at this point here, the front part of that baby hair, it was already dry. The first part that I did, it was already dry. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in and do this and just swoop my baby hair the way I want them to. And I will come back to y'all after I get them tied down and sprayed down and all that.
So normally when I use the foam method for my baby hairs, I do go and sit up under a hooded dryer, but I didn't feel like that. Um, it was getting late and so I just used a handheld dryer <laughs> and I just allowed that to dry. And now I'm going to go ahead and take that off and y'all can see these baby hairs are in place. They ain't moved, all of that. So I'm just showing y'all part in this wig and just showing y'all that it's all scalp. It looks really, really good. And these baby hairs, they ain't moved. They are in place. They look so good. So the, I do go in and I use that um, edge brush just to comb out those baby hairs and just tweak them a little bit. I cut off where I see too much and I'm just... Yeah, I even go in and pluck a little bit. So I'm just getting them the way that I want them to be. So I do go in um, and style this wig. Um, I just be wanting my installs to hit a little different. So I'm going in and making zigzag part and um, then I'm going to style that after I get that zigzag the way I want it. You can see right there I over bleached some knots and yeah, but we're going to fix that. I would much rather have over bleached knots than to have my knots not bleached because then your install is going to be looking like the baby doll heads that be having the big old black dots and I don't like that. So y'all just go ahead and bleach them knots and if you over bleach it, you can always fix it. It's very fixable. It's easy to fix. Just do that. Bleach them knots. That zigzag part is already looking good, but I'm just gonna go in and just spice it up, take it up a notch. I'm going in with that same color cream foundation that I use for my ball cap and all that. And I'm just defining that part, making it, you know, stick out even more. And now I'm going in with my olive oil spray. And I learned this tip from T the Slayer. I love this tip. I'm going to be using it from now on. She said to go ahead and take that holding spray and just spray the front of that hairline just to get all of those hairs in place. And then to go in with your fine tooth rat tail comb and just comb those backwards. And it works wonders. I'm so glad I found her. That was a great tip. All right, so now that I am liking the way that it's looking, I'm gonna go ahead and start styling this wig. So I decided to do um, two side twists, um, and I'm not gonna connect them. I'm just gonna take them and just pin them down. And I did um, not go all the way down to the side of the wig but I kind of stopped midways on both sides. And I'm just gonna use the flat bobby pins to get them to stay in place.
So now I'm just going in and defining them curls just a little bit because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit big, but not too, too big. Defining those curls with water and conditioner. And yeah, this is pretty much the final look. Like this is it. And it turned out so good. It turned out so bomb. Beauty Forever hair, you did your thing. I will be purchasing again. But yes, y'all, look at that. What lace. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. And I will be dropping more content soon. So stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.